What's up guys? So about a day or two ago, I got my Apex Pro in the mail, and unfortunately I'm an idiot, and I accidentally ordered the full size version instead of the TKL version, which is the shorter one, because I seen a cheaper price for some reason, I don't know why the full one was cheaper and on Amazon, it was renewed, so I was like, hey, maybe it is the TKL, and I didn't look because I'm an idiot, and I have the full size one. But either way, it's still the keyboard that Monger uses, it's just a bigger version of it. And for the mouse, the G402, I've already had this mouse. I just haven't been sitting there because I've never really used it like that. And now I'm going to actually use it. So that means today I'm going to be playing Hype Night on two peripherals that I never use. So obviously, it's time to hop into creative before we even get into playing the Hype Night. But at the time, it was already 540, meaning we were already 40 minutes late into Hype Night. And I was like, I'm just going to wait till 6 o'clock. So I'm going to be in creative for at least 15 minutes and get some use to this keyboard. But right off the bat guys, the actuation at level 1 on this keyboard was 0.4 and me switching from a Ducky 1 to Mini with blue switches and I had a 2.2 actuation, I could not get used to this. So I definitely had to switch it to at least level 4, I don't know what actuation that is, but I just know it felt a little bit better and easier to use, but I was going to get used to the 1 later in the day. As for the mouse, it's so much more heavy than my Model D, so it was really hard to get used to it again. Plus the side buttons are like placed differently, so I have to get used to where I put my hand. So it was even a little hard to get used to my mouse. But now it's 6 o'clock and it's time to get into Hype Night because we don't want to waste any more time. So guys, the last time I played Hype Night, I got about 50 points and I placed top 200. And I doubt I was going to be able to do the same on new peripherals, but again, it is Mongo's peripherals, so technically, shouldn't I do better? But we're going to see. Alright boys, so game one is on the way. And just so you guys know, I have to put the points on the screen because Epic Games is broken. And every match, it says I have zero points. So I'm just going to automatically put the points that I have on the screen so you guys know. So for the first match, since I was an hour late, I decided to hot drop Sweaty Sands. Oh, look at this kid. No. Oh. Alright, we're gonna pretend like that did not happen. I don't know why I just jumped off there. I could have just jumped on the umbrella. My brain had a complete lossage. Anyways, I decided to switch my landing to Frenzy Farms. Let's see what happens. Almost died to an e-girl. As you guys can see there, my aim was still shaky and I almost died to an e-girl. But either way, it's still the first game, so I kept continuing to W key. This guy with the drum gun would not leave me alone. But don't worry, I ended up getting away from him and then found him again later in this game. All this metal is popping on my screen, I can't hear nothing. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna choke, oh my god, I'm gonna choke. This kid's good, I'm gonna make sure I get him off. Oh, 
mess. No! Unfortunately, I ended up running out of mats, but 14 points for the second game wasn't that bad. Game three, I tried my luck with the sweaty sands again. Of course, this kid gets an RPG off spawn, and unfortunately, I died off spawn again. But it's okay, because I can't play that many games with the time I have left anyways. Game 4, I decided to switch my drop back to Frenzy Farms. Three points off spawn wasn't that bad. I wasn't gonna W key, but this kid looked way too much like a bot, so I decided to W key anyway. I just want to let you guys know that I completely outplay this guy. Next time someone tries to build directly above you, this is what you need to do. He had no way to build. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I was so disappointed in myself here, because I had so much loot and I still had fishes, I knew I would've won that game, but I had tunnel vision and I did not see this dude coming out of nowhere to hit me with a hard tech. Now it's game 5 and I have 25 points, so I decided why not to land frenzy farm again because it was obviously working. And unfortunately, I ended up dying to a bot because somebody kept tagging me for health from third party. And then when I try to place my ramp, I try to go under it, but instead I went above it and I died. For the sixth game, I think I was vibing too hard and I missed my drop spot. So I decided to go Weeping Woods and just play out fully and no W can just for end game. Yep, yep, yep. He RPG through my wall and my stair. I got so unlucky here. First he potentially RPG'd me through my wall and my stair, and then I only hit him for 180 right up close with my pump, and because my mouse was so heavy and I wasn't used to the weight compared to my other mouse, I couldn't flick fast enough to hit him with another shot before he killed me. So now we have a solid 30 points, but I noticed that I only had 28 minutes to play since I started an hour late. So, I had 4 matches and I knew that I had a W key off spawn 2 games. 
So in game 7, my goal was to get a couple kills off spawn and then leave the match. That game was shortly lived and it was completely my fault. I should have been paying attention to behind me before I even went to try and pickaxe that guy. In game 8, I had 31 points and I was going to do the exact same thing. Try to get a couple kills off spawn and then leave the match. What I like. Of course, he has a shotgun, bro. Unfortunately, I died off spawn without getting any kills. I don't even know why I landed agency. I hate it here. But I know for the rest of the other games, I have to play them out. So for these last two games, I definitely had to try to play them out. So again, I try landing good old Frenzy Farms. Unfortunately, so many people land in frenzy farms than I expected. I ended up killing two people, got a little bit too hyped, and then I got hit for a lot. And then I end up getting double teamed at the end. But it's all cool. I have one more game left. And my goal for my last game was to at least get 45 points. Alright boys, this is it. This is my last chance. I have 33 points. And this is my last chance to get at least 45 points. And I got sweaty sands completely uncontested. So I definitely was just going to play for endgame. Unfortunately, at the end there, I got heavy sniped and I was so angry. We ended up with 39 points. I was a little bit disappointed with how I played. I could have did so much better and I wanted to get 45 points only if this dude didn't heavy snipe me and everyone tried to hold me in storm. I got about top 2 or top 3%. And to be honest, for starting an hour late on new peripherals that I never used, that's not actually that bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like and drop a sub. Also, don't forget to use creator code Kamali and item shop to support me. It's Kamali, and I'm out.